Today I am reviewing this salt and pepper grinder by Nerita. This is a two-in-one electrical pepper grinder. It is run by batteries, no wires. Now um, it does have adjustable knobs here for your salt and pepper so you can get different grounds from them, which is always nice. I like bigger chunks of salt and pepper in my stuff. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, and this is what the box looks like, just so you know. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to insert the back. So to do that, you want to firmly hold right here, and then firmly hold right here. And you're going to just do a slight turn, and then this top will pull off. And you see we put three here, and three on this side. So we'll do that real quick here. Batteries around my house are, nem are my nemesis. Like I said. <laughs> Not only do they never seem to occur when we need them, they like to be difficult when we do find them. And this side is being a little bit more difficult here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And we'll just slip this back on and just give it a nice twist there and it's tight and <laughs> all right so on the top we have a salt and pepper and then on the bottom you can see where your peppercorns and your salt's going to go now to get to that point you just give this black see right here it's got these little ridges you just give that a nice little turn and it opens up the sides now to start with, you don't want to put a lot in there because you want to get the blades nice and sharp and, and you know, going. Okay, so this is salt side, so we're going to put just a little bit of salt in there. Put the salt up here. about that much in there just so we can get the blades up and going and then after you get the first couple uses you can fill it all the way up because your blades will be nice and working there let's take the top off this one too i love the small peppercorns these are kind of tiny slots here if you do it right, then we'll be fine. As I was saying, if you do it right, don't you? Put a few more on that one, then it'll be okay. So and then you just give it another twist, and it'll close those nice and tight for you. Okay, so let's see how this works here. Let's go for this up. So as you can see, you can see it coming out there, and it's on a fine ground. Let's change it to a little bit coarser here. We just kind of loosen this up a little bit for a coarser ground. Okay, let's try the pepper side. Gonna get a little bit of the peppers coming out here. Let's loosen this one up a little bit too. So it's giving me a little bit closer of a Now the arrows show you how to open this. You know you kind of open, line up the arrows as you open and shut. And again, this just opens your little drawers. And then you have your adjusters on the bottom. And you know you can see where they line up inside. This would be for the salt and this would be for the pepper. Really nice, really simple, and it beats having to go like this all the time. 
So I, I think this is a really good tool for everybody's kitchen. I like the stainless steel look. It's really classic, fits in every kitchen. And it's really simple to, to use. And, you know, I find some of the hand ones are a little bit cheaper made. This one's really nice. I really liked the grind in them. And how well that worked. Well, I hope you, I hope you like Navita. And I hope you buy one and try one. If you do, let me know. Leave me a comment. And um, hope you have a great day. I did receive this in exchange for my Honest and Unbiased review. And I hope it helps you out. Bye.